The day that I started seventh grade, this band played at the yard of the school. I just remember seeing the saxophone. I was like, wow, that's great. At the moment, I, I had my mind set that I wanted to be an astronaut. That summer before, I had done a trip to one of the space camps when I really loved the science and math. But the minute I played the saxophone, what I thought was, I guess I'm not going to be an astronaut anymore. <laughs> I first heard about Berkeley through a friend, trumpet player. He's like, yeah, this is an amazing school. All the greats went there, and that was it for me. Berkeley provides a community that allows any aspiring musician to be the best artist that they can be, best woodwind player that you can be. Just look at the Berkeley College of Music catalog. It's like a five-year-old going into Toys R Us. It's like, whoa, look at all these things I could take. Since I've come to Berkeley, I've been a part of the Berkeley Contemporary Symphony Orchestra. I'm the principal flutist, and with them, I've been able to perform in Symphony Hall, and I've been able to really push myself as a classical musician. Our Berkeley Woodwind Quintet, most of the pieces that we do are 20th century pieces or 21st century pieces, and sometimes students will write original compositions for us. There are 18 woodwind faculty. I don't know that there's another school where there's a choice of 18 just exceptional players and teachers. Bill Pierce, Joe Lovano, George Garçon. So they were my heroes. I mean, I, it's incredible. Danilo, he plays with Wayne Shorter, and Wayne Shorter playing with Miles Davis, and Miles Davis play with Charlie Parker. It's like an umbilical cord, you know, like connected. We get to be part of this stuff. At Berkeley, one of the real tenets of teaching is to really find what a student has and to help them develop it to its fullest extent. I started to study classical with Barbara Lafitte. And then I have another teacher, Jamal Green, and we study jazz. I really want to play bebop mixed with Turkish music. You can do anything here. Berkeley is the largest college of contemporary music on the planet and you're going to find someone who's interested in the same music in which you're interested. I would say the best part about my Berkeley experience is really the students around me. From my recital, the lauto player was from Greece. The drummer was from Dominican Republic, all around the world, and all of them just bring their music here. To meet all these amazing friends, you know, like my best friend now is from Japan. And I've been to Japan, and he's been to Puerto Rico. That's an incredible thing. And that happened here at Berkeley. We really want to share the whole human experience from the musical standpoint in our teaching, and hopefully that it will transfer to the students, and the students will take it onto the audience. That's what music should be about. I started off as a classically trained player. When I got to Berkeley, that's when I realized that I wanted to become a session musician. And I've played on hundreds of student film scoring projects. And I'd like to move out to LA after I graduate and pursue my dream there. The main thing I'm taking from Berkeley is all these fantastic tools that I've been given, both technical and also to find who I really am, who is Ed Marcolon. And I'm taking it with me and I'm embracing it. <laughs>